Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Bob, your host. Did you guys enjoy that intro? Welcome to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, and we're bringing you exciting stuff today. It's finally arrived. We have the Tron, fully built, assembled, and ready to rock and roll. And it's right here behind me now. This thing is really incredible. Starting off from the outside, there's an as a case. You guys can see there's a clear window, but this thing's been totally custom painted white. It's a metal flake white too. If you see it up close in the light, you can see it actually gleams. Looks kind of pearly. It's very, very nice paint job. Thanks to our painter guy out there, by the way. And you guys can also see now we're going to start off right in the front. This is completely custom made plexiglass. This is not the standard front that came in this case at all. If you guys know that about this as a case and the CD is really cool. You pop a CD in, but instead of having an eject button, it's kind of cool. You just barely touch the plastic on the right-hand side down below it, and the CD ejects. That's totally really cool. So check it out. Starting out in the front, you see all these little lightning bolt type things that go around the side of the case, they go up on the top. When you buy the case, you have these plastic things in there, but there's no lighting in them whatsoever. Anthony Custom did all the lighting inside it, running all of the wire, hiding it behind there to bring you guys the lights that are in there. So we'll flip it around, take a look at the side window first where you guys can see inside the motherboard and all stuff. It's an Asus motherboard. Thanks to Asus for giving it to us. It's a PZ77. This is their premium motherboard. They don't really make too many premium motherboards. So this is kind of a rare one. Underneath that's the i7-3770K. We have Swift Tech Cooling cooling off all of the CPU and everything. You guys can see we also have a blue rad off to the side over here. Also, there's three drives on the system powering it. We have an M SATA drive by the people over at Kingston. That's 128 gigabyte. That's actually mounted onto the motherboard itself, one of the features of it. Then we have a 240 gigabyte SSD from Intel up there in front. You guys can see that actually Anthony modded that out and put a little Tron little thing there so you can actually see it says Tron. That was any question about it. Hey, it's actually named Tron. Pretty cool stuff. I like the mod. You guys can look inside of the case even further. You can see the main storage drive. This is a Western digital drive. It's a one terabyte standard mechanical drive. Many people use this drive. Now inside of here, as we're looking at all this stuff, you guys can see that the power supply, you can't see it. It's actually a Cooler Master 1000 watt power supply and it's actually located in the front hidden. All this plexiglass hides the power supply, most of the major wiring, and everything else. It's really cool looking. Check that out. All clean, all unique. Now the video cards we have, they're actually made for, you guys are going to hate this, don't throw rocks, actually made for the people over at Apple. These are the Apple Edition cards. They're 79 50 from the people over at Sapphire, but they're white and they match the build. All we have to do is flash the BIOS of the cards, turn them into a standard 79 50 for a PC. It's easy stuff. Anybody could do it. And they actually have a dual BIOS switch on it. So if you want to use that, you can use that as well. Now, as you guys can see also, there are custom braided professional cables going all the way through the system. I believe some of these are made by the people over at Silverstone. The very back fan with the blue little plexiglass, that's also made by Silverstone and the fans on top are some by Intermax. This thing was really hard to build. Getting all the paint to match, all the colors to match, getting it up with the water cooling system took a lot of time and energy. I know some people are going to say, well, hey, you guys should have water cooled the cards. We decided not to do that just in case some other card came out and maybe we could find some other additions and upgrade the cards later and entirely water cool the system. Keeping our options open there because sometimes we make a system and we change it up as we go. But right now, you guys can see the Tron just looks 
amazing. Thanks to all the companies out there who supported us. God bless you people. We totally appreciate your support. You guys can see it in the system here. Now, if you guys want questions on the parts and all that kinds of stuff in particulars, down below in the description, we'll have all of those parts listed so you guys can check those out. Also, we hope you guys like this video. If so, you know what to do with that like button. And if you want to stay up to date and know all the things that are going on in Tech of Tomorrow on a daily basis, you guys can follow us on Twitter, you guys can follow us on Google+, Facebook, or you guys can just sub to the channel in this little box right here behind me. So I'm Elric, I'm off, have fun, I gotta go put an OS in this thing and then see how badass it games. Let's go see.